So the kids are going bananas because my brother is almost here. Uh, we're not gonna do the main console thing yet because we're not sure exactly the angles and cuts that we want. So we're still kind of hatching that out. We picked this for Ethan and to cobble. Did you? Yeah. Poor picking... azalea bushes. Well, there's more blooming. They're more blooming? Yeah, but there's some dead. Well. That's why I'm going to hide up in the tree and Axe is going to hide down there. <laughs> You're going to hide when he gets here? Yeah. Poor dear problem. I'm too big to hide behind our refrigerator. And what else are you going to do with Amazon boxes? What are you doing up there, monkey boy? I'm hiding. You're hiding? Yeah, they're here. No, I'm... they're not here yet. Oh my goodness, boy, what happened to your hair? Daddy said it's a little bit off. <laughs> are you waiting for somebody? No. People are coming. What is your money until cover going? Yeah, Marlene's not coming. It's your cousin Ethan. Oh, and he's going to have his people for maybe tonight. Yes, he is. They're staying here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's going to get stuck. He's going to back up. Here they are. <laughs> Are you wanting to help Axel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that heavy or that's okay? And then you can come back for this one. Heavy. But I can hold two. Really? Axel was going by Arnold. One more. We have cleaning dispenser. That cleans the our own RV and the RV. <laughs> that one over there is playing hide and seek, and this one over here, all he wants to do is help. You want to take both of them at the same time? Really? Oh, okay, okay, guys. Well, good morning. Uh, my name is Jimmy. I'm Aaron's brother. You got to figure out oldest or youngest. That are you, it's for you to decide. For the grown-ups, I'm uh, Jimmy the carpenter. For the kids, I'm Bob the builder. <laughs> and for my family, I'm Tio Calvo. <laughs> Can you guys tell where the ham comes from? It's kind of like built into the family. The ham? See, <laughs> el jamón huelo. <laughs> Not that kind of ham. <laughs> Push this forward. Yeah. And to go behind this one, behind that. Yeah. It's... What's that? This is a grinder. Man, this is crazy metal here. <laughs> we thought this was some like cheap plastic thing all around the RV, but it's like. <laughs> it's a big piece of metal. Can you hold it there? All right. Bottom of, of the counter, obviously. Um, 38. Let's say if we go 37, 37, your table top is going to be 37. The, the table the open in. is going to come no more than that in order to, to flip and yeah. don't rub the floor. Is that how tall the seat's going to be? That's how So that's going to be a tall bench. <laughs> We, we can take it down. I'll cut yeah. it. What does this do? Hold it like that. 
So if you want these two boards to be square, this is the shape. You gotta put one here, and then you put one here. Is the wood square or out of square? Look at the wood. A square. If, you don't, if I don't have this, and then Tio Cabo builds a door for Papa, and it builds like that. That'd be crooked. Oh, it'll be crooked, see? We so, don't want crooked doors. So. How do you turn it off? How do you work on clamps? Can I paint my room? Maybe at the end. We're not ready yet. We have to fix a lot of things. I need you to clamp all these four together. The one does I have that one. And then you put them together and you clamp it with that clamp, okay? Just going like this. Exactly. You tilt this sideways and, and then clamp you it. clamp it. Now test it, see if it fits. <laughs> it's called? That is called a clamp. Oh, I picked up the clamp. No, oh, that's I didn't, okay. I didn't get hurt though. Axel was clamping stuff all over the place. Who would? You want to clamp some stuff? No. <laughs> Not at all. So this is what we're thinking about doing. We're thinking about putting the, the circuit breaker panel down here. The circuit breaker panel can be accessed from the front, so, and then put a board on top of the circuit breaker panel. Yeah, okay, cool. for the no. trash can. So right. over here, we can have a shelf, like a bookshelf, because the kids don't have a bookshelf now. So over here, we could have a bookshelf, and then on top, we'll put a drawer. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a little rewiring to do, because these wires have to go behind there, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? Why should have not gone out, right? So, Remember how we had to build it that up because we I know so it. So the uh, bench here is going to have an open top for storage. Uh, right. And then at the end here, a door. We're going to have a door. Right. And then over here, there's going to have a door so that you can put shoes and stuff down there. Yeah, and right. then this is going to be a lid. And then the table is going to fold up right here. So right here, the table you're gonna, gonna have two pieces, up. two wow. pieces, a That's little cool. piece and a, a little piece It'll be over a 14 here. inch, and yeah, piece. and and a 10. The table is gonna flip up and come all the way to like here. Oh. So it's that's the idea. It's got a lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, my brother kind of locked me out. Locked me out. Locked my entire system out <laughs> from here, so we're having to take the board out. Well, so you'd rather to lock you out or cut the cables. I was gonna cut the <laughs> carpenters. There you go. Now I can put the whole electric box back in. <laughs> yeah, oh, crazy color. man. Do it. Do now. <laughs> That's tighter than I thought it was going to be. It's really nice. Huh? How can I do the holes? I think, yeah, but I think we're not going to do more holes for today. No, we're done with the holes today, buddy. No, no we're, we're, we're hole day. out. I know. Then can I paint my room? So like I was saying, my brother's a force of nature. So we're trying to keep up, <laughs> aren't we, baby? So yeah, so we're gonna, uh, no, but we're gonna do breakfast in a little bit. Just wait just a minute, okay? Yeah, we'll buy some chocolate milk. Yes, of course you can have chocolate milk. So yeah, anyway, we took power off. So now all these cables are coming out. We're gonna put them in here for now because he's making the frame for the power. So put it there for now. This is all in here for now. So everything's nice and tight in there. And now we're gonna make the frame out here to mount the the power panel. And then once that gets done, he can continue uh, with the whole thing. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that man is just nuts. I can sweep off the dust of your working tool. Can I do the ham? <laughs> can I do the screw? We're not gluing right now. And we're not hammering right now. So this is how far we got for two days. Definitely a changing plans. We weren't planning to do this. We weren't quite ready. And my brother had other plans for sure. <laughs> but we think it's coming along really beautifully. When you see things starting to come together, 
it really changes how you are going to do things. The power box, for instance, it's a, a simple thing of how far the cables had already been run. If they were too short, we wouldn't have been able to put the power box all the way up front, the circuit breaker panel. But because that's roughly where it used to be, everything ran perfectly to it. So as we came along and we started doing things, everything just started falling into place. Another thing that happened like by chance with the circuit breaker panel is that first we're going to put it up and down, which is a little different and a little awkward to have circuit breakers going this way, but there's nothing wrong with it. But we, because we weren't going to make it this wide, but because of reason X, Y, Z, it ended up being just wide enough for the circuit breaker panel to be sideways. So that's the advantage of having somebody that you know uh, help you out with pieces that you don't know because as you go along the way you can make adjustments like we were going to put the breaker box over here before like we said in the last video uh, but we found out that putting it across the bottom and putting a false floor would be a lot better it raised everything off the ground but the trash can doesn't have to be ultra tall so you end up you know you end up making adjustments uh, when we saw this done, it was enormous. It was bigger than a trash can needed to be. So now that we have the entire bottom, it makes installing solar and all the other electronics that we're going to put in this rig, it makes it a lot easier because I have complete access to almost the entire floor. So that's, that's a huge plus. And it opened up this little nook over here so that we can have a little book library and we can have a drawer. So really big, big changes, but wonderful things. And this outlet was already extended and, it, and uh, hooked up. All we had to do was, uh, was make the hole and put it in. You want a tree house, okay. And, and, the, roof is gonna, uh, and the roof is oh. gonna stay wood. The roof is uh -huh. gonna stay wood. Yeah. I know. Maybe we can make a uh, playhouse. So you guys can help us make the playhouse. And you guys will have to glue it and nail it and, and hold the boards, screws, hold the boards. And then and when we finish, the boards attached to each other. You got it. 